Every year, roughly 35,000 runners participate in the 500 Festival Mini Marathon in Indianapolis. But this year's marathon will have an impact right here in the Wabash Valley. News 10's Garrett Brown was in Indianapolis today. He explains how. Today, Eva Core and some of her biggest supporters helped set the pace for next year's marathon. Dozens of people showed up, including at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, to show their support. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway was a little busier Wednesday morning. That's as runners like Terre Haute resident Brad Cheney ran the marathon course around the city and track on behalf of Eva Core. Uh, she's got a lot of impact, not only locally, but nationwide. I just found out yesterday that she was going to be involved in it, so it's pretty cool to be able to come out and actually support her and, uh, and be part of this uh, event today. It's pretty neat. Each year, the marathon chooses a charity to select as a pace setter. For each runner that beats that pace setter's time, the 500 Festival donates a dollar to that charity. That's why the marathon organizers decided to choose CORE and the Candles Holocaust Museum. It also gave her the opportunity to tell her story and help her cause. A story that, could, that we can be a platform to tell. And then along with that, we create an opportunity for runners to know that they're, they're raising funds. If they can beat the mark set by the pace setter, they're raising funds. Ava walked the last leg of the race. She's honored to be selected as 2019's pace setter. She just wants everyone to take her message to heart. So if we use that wonderful brain that we have to learn to treat each other with respect, we are making a difference in the world. The pace to beat is 2 hours, 7 minutes, and 36 seconds. But Cora and Cheney just hope everyone will keep her message in mind while racing through the streets of Indy. And what she's done um, is not as well known uh, for your young, the younger generation. And hopefully this will you know, help expand that out a little bit further for our younger kids. And now, if you'd like to learn more about the 500 Mini Marathon or the Candles Museum in Terre Haute, we'll have all that information on our website at WTHITV.com. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm News 10's Garrett Brown. Back to you.